Hello friends, this week's Tuesday diagnosis drop case was pulmonary Langerhans's histiocytosis. It's a clonal di proliferative disorder of Langerhans's affecting lungs with a mixture of nodules, cysts and fibrosis. It is driven by mutation in MAPK pathway with most common being PRAF V600 followed by MAP2K1. It affects young smokers. Males are affected more commonly than females with the involved age group of 20 to 40 years. It's a relatively rare disease with reported incidence of less than 5 cases per million annually. Older te uh, terminology not in use is pulmonary snophilic granuloma, pulmonary histiocytosis X, pulmonary Langerhans's granulomatosis. Instead, uh, we use Langerhans cell histiocytosis uh, for systemic disease and pulmonary Langerhans cell histiocytosis if there is lung involvement. PSCH mainly involves upper and middle lung fields with relative sparing of lung bases, which it may help in differentiating it from other interstitial lung disease uh, presenting with fibrosis. PSH uh, can present in uh, three uh, clinical settings. Uh, it may present as uh, with respiratory symptoms like cough and dyspnea with or without uh, constitutional symptoms like fever, malaise, uh, weight loss. It may present uh, acutely uh, with a spontaneous pneumothorax which may be uh, bilateral or recurrent or it may uh, be an incidental finding on routine X-ray examination. Hemoptysis is a rare presentation and if present, it should uh, warn us about uh, a complication or may uh, suggest uh, alternative diagnosis. Pulmonary functional abnormalities uh, also vary according to the extent of the cystic involvement and duration of illness. Obstructive ventilatory defects are more common then uh, restrictive patterns and mixed of restrictive and obstructive pattern may also be seen. Radiologically, it may show symmetrical bilateral reticulonodular changes uh, on chest x-ray uh, with involvement of uh, upper and middle uh, lung fields. On HRCT, it uh, shows a combination of nodules, um, cavitating nodules measuring 1 to 10 millimeter and cysts of variable sizes and thickness. Cysts uh, may vary in size and may coolies to form irregular shapes. Earlier lesions show nodules and cavitating nodules while as disease progresses cystic changes become more prominent due to destruction of the bronchiolar wall because of disease activity. Extensive ground glass opacities may be present as a result of concomitant smoking related interstitial lung disease. On PET CT it may uh, present as a hypermetabolic uh, lesion uh, making distinct uh, differentiation from malignant disease difficult. Microscopically, it uh, shows uh, nodules, cysts, as well as scars. Histopathologically, there are cellular nodules of uh, Langerhans cells, which are positive for CD1A, S100, and Langerine. These cells have convoluted nuclei, isnophilic cytoplasm, and they are admixed with variable number of lymphocytes, histocytes, and isnophils. BRAF V600E immunohistochemical stain correlates with the mutation status of BRAF in both pulmonary as well as systemic uh, Langerhans cell histocytosis. Uh, initial lesions uh, have a predominance of uh, peribronchial uh, location uh, or centriacinal uh, pattern. Uh, as disease progresses, there is more uh, fibrosis with stellate scar and cystic destruction of the lung and then it loses its sentry uh, location. Uh, there may be uh, background changes of uh, smoking related interstitial uh, disease like emphysema, respiratory bronchiolitis, smoking related interstitial fibrosis or even DIP like pattern may be seen.
molecular testing is indicated uh, if we are uh, considering uh, targeted therapy especially in progressive diseases uh, mutation usually involve ma uh, map k pathways uh, most common is braf uh, v600e which can be detected by ihc as well as molecular testing second most common uh, mutation is map 2k1 which is also a targetable mutation and it responds to mek inhibitors other mutations in uh, reported are nras kras mutation uh, and araf mutation so these are the essential uh, and desirable diagnostic criteria according to who uh, classification essential criteria include langerhans cell ag aggregates usually in sentry snl distribution with ihc uh, positivity for uh, cd1a and langerin desirable criteria include uh, associated cystic fibrotic changes background of smoking related changes and braf mutation this is the he picture of our case here we can see a cellular nodule made up of uh, round to oval cells these cells have very irregular nuclear contours and eosinophilic cytoplasm here we can see uh, the cells are variably mixed with mononuclear cells and eosinophils cells are positive for langerin as well as cd1a S100 is showing cytoplasmic as well as nucleus positivity. So, on the basis of these findings, we diagnosed it as a case of Langerhans cell histiocytosis. Uh, smoking, uh, as this is a smoking-related disease, uh, cessation of smoking uh, may uh, halt or reverse the progression of the disease. For progressive or severe disease uh, treatment by steroid chemotherapy or braf inhibitors can be uh, uh, tried it has good prognosis however 15% of the cases may show progressive disease and these are the uh, factors which are uh, linked to poor outcome of the disease so to summarize the key points Pulmonary Langerhans cell histiocytosis is seen in young adult smokers. Presence with cough, dyspnea, spontaneous pneumothorax. On HRCT, it shows nodules plus cystic changes, especially confined to upper and mid zone of lung. Biopsy confirms the diagnosis with the positivity of CD1A and Langerin. S smoking cessation is a key to management and it should be remembered that PLCH should be considered in atypical pulmonary presentations like recurrent pneumothorax, especially in smokers with cystic lung changes. These are the differences I have referred to. Thank you very much.